we are the Rockinest. <laughs> Hello friends, Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, returns on Route 14 to do some doomy things. We'll switch Uzacid out of there, he leveled up pretty good. And uh, oh, there's so many trainers over here. I want to battle them all! My bird Pokemon should be ready for battle. Well, let's find out. Put it to the test, shall we? I might teach Golbat Fly just so we can get back to Pokemon Center relatively easy and like change uh, directions if we so desire. There goes the Psybeam. Psybeam on Torkoal should do pretty good damage. Yeah, not bad. He's gonna curse up, which actually for Ghost Pokemon is interesting. It'll cut a, f a quarter of your HP or a half of your HP and then do a quarter to the enemy every turn and damage. Uh, but for normal Pokemon or anything besides a ghost, it'll lower your speed and raise your attack and defense. Which is really fucked up. <laughs> uh, I wish things like Dusk Noir's curse worked like it worked for uh, Snorlax, you know what I mean? It kinda... it's an interesting thing, but uh, not exactly what I, what I like. Recycle? What the hell? I think it reuses uh, a berry or some shit, but yeah. We don't use berries, not in our strategy, thanks. Uh, Charizard. That's quite doomy. But no problem. No problem at all. I think Tranny has what it takes. I'm really also enjoying this Mr. Mime. Holy shit. Who would have known he'd be such a bro? Ah, oh, wonderful. And the Metal Claw, which shouldn't be same type attack. Yeah. Uh-oh, but he does get an attack boost from it. Which is fucked up. Shut it down! Shut it down! I think it should... Yeah, two-hit KO. Nice, because it went into the yellow. You see how that works? I don't. Sometimes it's like min-max damage and it fucks up. Oh, he's sending out a poison Pokemon now. Poison. Why did I say it like that? Why do I always say things weird? I just say words. I say words like I hear them and I try to say them like I hear them, but it always doesn't come out that way. Wow! That fucking Swalot lived. And he wants an Encore. He wants it! You gotta give the people what they want! Huzzah! <laughs> no problem. Here's a side beam for you, buddy. You take that. You enjoy. You like it, huh? He does. He told me he does. Don't believe him when he says he doesn't. Fortress. Hmm. See, this is where I wish I had the fire. Squirrel. Squirrel! Might have to go back to Celadon and buy a fucking... A buff... A buff fire move for him. I got the money for it. But as it is, um, yeah, I have basically nothing that's gonna fucking hurt this thing. It's so awful! Oh, man. That's alright. We'll bite, and bite, and bite our way through. It's just how we do. See, that rhymes. He doesn't have anything to hit me, really, if he does have, like, Gyro Ball or some shit like that. Uh, it's a Steel-type move that hits more based on how fast your Pokémon is compared to theirs. And while Fortress is pretty slow, uh, Jolteon's not that fast. And also Fire resists Steel. Oh, he does have the takedown. Ooh, doesn't do that much. We'll be fine. Fucking push through it. I really want to level up uh, Squirrel just so we can get some Fire moves on him. It's frustrating as hell to have all these Steel types and I'm just like, yep, I guess, I guess we'll whittle him down. I don't know. So that, uh, that's my thought process for not turning Squirrel into a Vaporeon or some, some shit like that. Was it the right thing? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Honestly, um, an Eevee would have an easier time with the Elite Fours Pokemon, but uh, we're trying to get to that point. If I get to that point, I will make sure that my Pokemon are overleveled and that we do beat it the first time through with hopefully no casualties, but you can't can't really rely on that. Actually, we can, because we have unlimited use of items. As long as I have the money to fund it, so that's why I'm trying not to be too stupid uh, with my funds early on. We'll put Tranny in the back, because he leveled 32 now. And, uh... Anybody else over this way? No, that's just those dudes. And then there's one more dude over here. Hey, buddy! Let me kick your ass. You need to get... You need to use TMs to teach good moves to your Pokemon. That's so not true. Hydro Pump is not a TM. <laughs> Just, there's one example for you. Carter. 
Oh, he's the Carter, son! We're fighting fucking Young Wheezy! Oh, and he's got a Nitto King. Holy fuck. That is a bad switch for Acorn, but I can use Fake Out, so I'm not gonna switch out straight away. See what that does. Mmm, it's not good. Do I wanna risk it? If he has a poison move, I'll get really fucked up. I'll just be safe. I'll bring in the Batman. I could do Tranny and hit him super effective, but I don't know what he's rocking. It makes me nervous. Oh, he's got double kick. No problem. Maybe we should have done the thing. Oh well, whatever. Just destroy him, Batman! And he's like Batarang. That's what the wing attack is. It's a flurry of gold bat shaped, not very aerodynamic boomerangs. Alright, I want my fucking Golbat to evolve, man. I can't wait, I'll shit a brick. I want him to beat up everyone so he gets big and strong. Oh yeah, this is a Batman! Like, Golbat isn't really the Batman. You know what I mean? The Batman is awesome and out there to wreck some shit. He's got an Entei, my god. This fucking guy. Let me tell you about this fucking guy. I think Handjob has the, the punching power. Hopefully he doesn't get KO'd by an Entei. Oh my god, that thing is so scary. Just fucking look at it. Oh! Uh, uh, return. Return, and if Handjob gets KO'd... Oh my god. He got roared out. I guess that's better than getting hit. Hey, Tranny! Welcome to the battle, bro! Hit that thing with a side beam, would ya? Thanks! Totes, thanks, brah! Uh, and he bites. Fuck! Nah, it's alright. It's okay! Just breathe! It's gonna be fine! <laughs> oh, side beam will kill it. Should get a, a nice chunk of XP. Tranny might be level 34. Tranny might be the big one. Nope, not quite. <laughs> and a Pidgeotto. Man, these Pokemon are getting more and more doomy. We'll switch back into Batman. He's got some decent defense and decent special defense. Uh, but his attack is lacking. When he evolves into a Crobat, that's when his attack and his speed go through the fucking roof. Ooh! Oh, it's a Pidgeotto, not a Pidget. Okay. Because the name was longer, I thought it might be the higher evolved form. But, uh, yeah, looking at it, I can tell that it's not. Pidget's got fucking, like, rockin' hair! And, oh, oh, why you do this? Fucking whirlwind. Asshole. That's fine. We'll bite it. Bite! And then you flinch. You flinch, right? Yeah, para flinchy fusion without the, the para. Okay, Gust is okay. That is fine. We will win. And he flinched. Yes! Here's the quick attack. Boosh! Yeah, didn't even see that coming, did you? Did you? Fuck yeah. And squirrel. Mm, no levels, no levels. Not good enough quite yet. Correct. We are the Rockinest. Gotta get some more super potions on my pokes. Especially Squirrel. Holy crap. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Handjob's got a little more gas in the tank. It would be a bit of a waste of a potion. Like, a, a fifth of a potion would be wasted. Which is unacceptable because you can't pour it back into the bottle or some shit. Alright, let's see how we do against Bird Keeper so-and-so. They have TMs on sale at Celadon Department Store. TMs are really rare, but not many people have HMs. Hmm. I have had quite a few TMs. The Blizzard TM you could have bought at Celadon Department Store. Mm-hmm. I could have another Pokemon with Blizzard. If only somebody could learn it. Zatu, the flying psychic type, which is going to get wrecked by a fake out and a faint attack. Fake out's not doing the damage that I hoped it would do. Handjob could wield it a lot better. Unfortunately, he has not learnt it quite yet. But uh, I get the feeling he's close, right? Maybe? Yeah, that Zatu could have fucked me up if he got a flying attack off. But not the case. Acorn, the fucking Team OG, still here with us, doing the thing. And a Bell Awesome. Um, um, um. Get some XP to Batman. He won't be level 33 too. What happens to level 33? I don't know. Something good, probably. <laughs> Maybe. Possibly. Don't quote me. There it is. Boosh! Damn. I thought it was gonna one hit KO. But these Pokemon are getting stronger. Getting a little stronger as we go down the route. Still not a fucking threat or anything. I've got so many super potions. 
we will make it to Fuchsia City. I promise thee. Promise thou. All right. Good job. I'm proud. Aw, bummer. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. It's fine. Try teaching Pokemon a move that's the same type as it. That apparently boosts the power of the move. Well, that's only like science or something. I wanted to go over here, but there's also a fucker. <laughs> if you taught your bird Pokemon how to fly, you'll be able to soar into the sky. Wow. I want to do that. Is Golbat a bird Pokemon? Not technically. He's a mammal. He's a bat. Does it work the same here? Probably not. This is a whole new fucking world. Wow, that Regirock. Kinda scary, kinda scary. I'll use the fake out even though it will do nothing. Literally nothing. Oh my. This is gonna be ugly. Let's go into Cradley. We'll go into Cradley, shall we? Should be able to do some things. Maybe Giga Drain? Maybe uh, Astonish? Astonish is probably not gonna do that much. We need to go super effective against this fucking thing. And, uh, it's like his own little super potion. You know what I mean? He's gonna heal himself right up. Yay, thank you, Regirock. That was quite kind. <laughs> almost, almost back to full. Not quite. And he's gonna curse. Which is good, because it means I'll definitely move first. And get that fucking KO. Ah, wonderful. Wonderful. Do it. Yes! Drink his life away! Yes! <laughs> Alright. Is that it? What else you got? What else you got on your team? Bunch of fucking legendaries? Everybody seems to have a legendary on this route. This is fucking crazy. Oh no, Sandshrew. Thank goodness for Sandshrew. That's a nice break. Um, is it gonna resist acid? Are you resistant? Mmm, yep. That sucks. But, uh, I think I should be able to just Giga Drain him to death now. I think in future generations, Acid lowers their, uh, special defense every, every time you use it. And this time it just kind of has a chance to. Which ain't too good. He's got Poison Sting. I don't want to bring anybody else but Batman. The Batman. Bat. The man. The Batman. Fuck. That Slash is kind of scary. Especially because it can cause a critical hit with like a high percentage or something like that. But it's fine. We'll get the confusion going. He's not gonna fucking hit me with that slash too many times. Uh oh, here it comes. Ah, uh, now we need to start doing some work. Get this thing off the field before it hurts me. Please, please, hurt yourself, please. Yes, just what I needed. I knew it was gonna crit on that turn, like... Just a feeling in my sack if it didn't hurt itself. Yeah, so there you go. Dead Ch Sandshrew. Enjoy that. <sighs> and he's got a Spoink. A Spoink is a Psychic type, but I have Bite. I have Bite. I should be able to... Oh, fuck. No, I forgot how low Batman is. Let's switch to Acorn. Yep, he's got a Dark type move. And it'll have same type attack bonus. Magic Coat, uh, that reflects, like, status moves and such, which can be interesting, especially if a Pokemon has Stealth Rock, but there's an ability called Magic Bounce, which basically does that shit all the time. Espeon has Magic Bounce in these generations, which is fucking cool. It'll wreck some shit. Magic Coat's a good idea, but only as maybe a surprise thing for Grumpig or whatever. That Spoink's evolved for him! Hooray! Batman grew up! Little more Batman loving! Little more Batman pain! Alright. Let's see what's down here. Nothing? Fucking nothing. <laughs> God damn it. That's alright. I got more gas in the tank. A little more gas in the tank. Where are my fucking antidotes? All my antidotes. I only bought ten of them. That seems quite frugal. Everybody's low on health. I'm scared now. I'm just scared. I'm gonna get them all back up to full health. Because, uh, if not, something bad could happen. You know? One bad crit, fucking over. Over for handjob. I know his defense isn't that high. Use acid can probably be okay. I wish we had some ether. <laughs> I 
Uh, Aether is an item that recovers the PP of Pokemon moves. My PP goes down when I take Aether, though. <laughs> Everything's going on in my brain. I can't keep a boner, dude. <laughs> TMI. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, let's get Squirrel in the front. Squirrel and Handjob are kind of lacking just because they they don't have the offensive power that I would like them to. What's the next thing? Have you heard the legend of the winged mirages? Winged mirages! Is that the ho-ho that Ash saw in the first episode of the anime, which I've stated previously in this Nuzlocke, is not really that good anyways? <sighs> Probably. <laughs> Alright, we're also running low on uh, PP of like our good moves. That Ariados is also a higher level than me, and I have no fucking fire move. <laughs> oh, please learn a fire move, Squirrel. Please. That's all I want. And Constrict drops my speed, but it is weak as shit, luckily. So, uh, not too worried about that. Not too worried at all. Nightshade is going to do 33 damage. <gasps> how did I know? Because that's how it works. Takes the level, applies it in damage. It's cool, it's like a magic card or something. If magic had levels. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <sighs> level 33, good job, squirrel. You're the best! You're the greatest! Why? Why'd I lose? Well, has something to do with sucking, I'd presume. And squirrel did get a level, but he didn't get no move. Do I have a fucking fire move I could teach this dude? Yes, at the very bottom of the barrel, we have overheat. So, while it will drop the special attack of Squirrel, he doesn't really use it aside from this one fire move. Uh, not yet, anyways. And it saved me a trip to sell it on department store. So we're gonna get rid of, rid of Growl, uh, because I like sand attack shenanigans, as you might know. Machine set! Yo, shove this in your brain! <laughs> Squirrel learned overheat. Wonderful. We probably should have done that a lot earlier. Well, friends, this is the end of the episode. I hope that you will join us for the next time. And if you did enjoy, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And until then, friends, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, 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 see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.